Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in the game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. If you like our video content and want to show support for Football Game Plan, stop by our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan and don't hesitate to drop a little something something in the tip jar. It could be one, five, or ever amount you would like to donate to Football Game Plan. Every little bit helps and we definitely appreciate your support. UCLA's Paul Perkins has such natural running skills and very good balance and vision. Each run gives you the impression that he has a bird's eye view while he's carrying the football. I think it's his great feel for the running game that helps him know when and where to take chances or just to take what the defense gives him, all of which I think are developed because of his patience. Perkins consistently sets up his blockers when going off tackle or out in space, which helps him maximize each and every carry. But in my opinion, I would have to say that the best part of Perkins' game is his elusiveness. He may be the most elusive back in college football. With Peter Warwick or LaShawn McCoy-like ability in confined spaces or out in the open field, Perkins is able to string moves together and consistently make the first guy miss. That takes an elite level of timing and also footwork to pull that off. I think Perkins has just okay explosiveness. As you'll see right here, he does the right thing in trying to split these two defenders. So when you make that cut, you want to see a great bit of burst and explosiveness out of it. But it's just okay coming out of that cut, which is probably the difference between a tackle and a touchdown. Now you'll see here as the lane is clearly defined, Perkins has more than enough room to build up his speed to get to the end zone. So in my opinion, Perkins is a good running back, just not an explosive one. In my opinion, Paul Perkins is a D'Angelo Williams clone, not the D'Angelo Williams of the Memphis Tigers or the Carolina Panthers. I'm talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers, D'Angelo Williams. Both right now, I think, are similar in stature, size, skill set, and speed, most importantly. Paul Perkins graded out as that second, third round type of a back. In my opinion, there's three guys that are going to get that second, third round grade. But he did come out as number eight on my list. Tremendous talent as far as elusiveness is concerned. You get him out in space, he will definitely make you pay.